Welcome. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the difficult situation that we have for us to training the dogs right now. We're also going to make a training loop with with one or two of the teams today. The ice is it's good ice here actually, but when I look at the quality It's not good. You don't have this black, pure, strong ice. Here you have a different kind of slushy, frozen ice. And that's weaker. Because normally we get the good ice on the lake while it's no snow. We get the good ice, we can start preparing the trail on the lake and continue training the dogs uh, in the forest with the quad. Right now the ice is bad. And it starts getting too much snow in the forest for the quad. <sighs> so it is really not a good season for us. If you're new to this channel, my name is Matti and I live in Jokmok and I run a small guide company and dog sled company together with my girlfriend Stina and we also make these YouTube videos. But now let's go. When you're training dogs like this or there is things you have to do all over and over again it's very important to keep the mental motivation quite high because you can always find reasons to not do it if you are tired or something like that and when you get problem with the ice and when you get problem with the snow and it's wet and it's so on it's easy to oh, like this even if this is the best work you can have and especially a day like this when it's blue sky and the sun is shining but some days it's not blue sky and sun is shining so then you had to work with your own motivation a little bit very important So what I actually see now is that Gandalf have some problem with his feet so we had to check it and probably can't follow today. Uh, it was very icy last tour I made with him so we'll see. So the skin that is a little small cut in there so he is not going to follow on the tour today. So he need a couple of days to rest and Gandalf
So the problem we have now is that it's so much snow and it's a little bit difficult for the quad to drive here. And the places along the trail that we use during the summer uh, where it's water, it frees a surface of water on it and it's not good enough for the, do for, for the dogs. So every time when we go there the ice breaks through and the dogs get wet and all the hooks and ropes get wet but isn't it how life should be a little bit besvärligt ibland tricky So today we have honey in lead. Honey! Hey honey! Honey! And Nisa! Hey Nisa! Hey Nisa! Honey! Hey honey! Honey! So now I will continue uphill and I'm not really sure that I'm able to go all the way up. And if I'm not able to go all the way up, I have a problem to turn around the whole thing. But we had to try. managed to go all the way up to the top and the dog made very good work I'm satisfied with that but from here I'm able to see all the way into Sarek National Park so I will film a little bit with a um, telezoom so you can see it's, it's snow covered mountains in Sarek right now and from here into Sarek National Park and Laponia World Heritage Area that's part of World Heritage Area but from here into Sarek National Park I think I have 70 to 80 kilometer maybe something like that from Jokmok So now I also came back through this water hole and this is not freezing this year because it's too warm. Normally it freezes, it's like this but we don't have all the snow. So now I've been through this water hole again and it's not so bad for me to go through the water hole but I always feel so bad to the dogs because they get wet and yeah, they're not super happy with the water of course it's, it's cold water but they're doing a really good job they just jump into it and push through so I'm really impressed of them now I had to tangle up some lines and then I'm going home and I think that was all from me today see you next time ciao